I'll have to go red to tell you it's recording. Okay, but I mean just go. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. What care I for the number of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I've had enough of whole burnt rams and fat fattenings. In the blood of calves, lambs, and goats, I find no pleasure. When you come in to visit me, you ask these things of you. Trample my courts no more. Bring no more worthless offerings. Your incense is loathsome to me. New moon and Sabbath, calling of assemblies, octaves with wickedness, these I cannot bear. Your new moons and festivals I detest, they weigh me down. I tire of load. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wrong. Hear the orphan's plea and defend the widow. The word of the Lord. <laughs> to the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock and no goats out of your fold. To the other way, I shall Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it, or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing him up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. Thank you. 
procedures. Carry it. Pray. Maybe the job you're doing, the job your kids are doing, results in a lot of stress and worry. You gotta carry it. Pray. Maybe the parenting decision that you need to make this week is gonna be difficult. Carry it. And pray. Maybe the opportunity that you have today or maybe tomorrow to bear witness to your faith. Carry it. Pray. Now, nowhere does it proclaim that the road's going to be easy, that the journey is going to be easy. Nowhere does it say that. But being uh, worthy of a relationship with God is, is what this is about. No pretense, no hidden clauses. It's just follow with his footsteps, and those footsteps uh, included the cross. If we are truly not given more than we can handle, then we have to believe that what we are given, we have to handle, we can handle with Christ. Growing up in the neighborhood I was in during Lent, and this was a, a practice, perhaps long before I was born, but during Lent in my in the parish, there would be life-size crosses, and a life-size cross was given to a family. And the family would put that life-size cross on the porch their home. And everybody who kind of passed by or kind of noticed it uh, knew that something was going on perhaps in that person's life and prayed for them. And then the cross would pass every day. Those 40 days, the cross would go to somebody else. <clears throat> and the people inside that house, for instance, my family, we would carry the cross, so to speak, to the next person. Carrying across the we didn't get in the car and drive to the park. We actually walked the neighborhood to the next person. It was a, a constant reminder that the cross is always close, always nearby. You know, sometimes we perceive that someone else's cross, you know, is lighter than what I'm going through right now. Sometimes I have to realize that the cross that I'm carrying is, is exactly the right size for me. And in the end, I don't want to treat it. Why would you carry a cross? Because it leads to a deeper relationship with God. Please stand as we pray. Let us humbly beseech God that in His mercy He will hear our prayers. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may God the Father grant him the wisdom of the Spirit and the heart of the Son to unify the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Those who serve in positions of authority, may God's peace reign through them. We pray to the Lord. Lord suffering from unjust treatment or discrimination. May the Lord encourage them and deliver them from their trials. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our community of faith, may God provide us courage and strength as we carry our crosses. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering, for those who minister to the sick, those dealing with the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord the faithful departed, especially remember this morning, Kurt Hutchinson.
for the repose of his soul and the comfort of his family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you ask great things of us as we strive to follow your way of the cross. Hear the prayers that we offer today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, and we give you thanks. 
thanks and you've held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope Francis, our bishop, bishops, clergy, religious, and all of God's people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your apostles, Peter and Paul, St. Michael, St. Henry, St. Teresa, and all the saints who have been you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life with them and praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, and with him, and in him, with God, and Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray for our daily bread as Jesus taught us. Our
May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of St. Henry, sanctify our minds and hearts that we may merit to be made sharers in, his, in your divine nature. We ask this in Jesus' name, Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, be with you. Amen. Lord, continue to bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This is then that we go in peace. Thank you. Today, Sam and Rosemary Tripp are celebrating 63 years of marriage. Congratulations.